How to draw a straight line of best fit for GCSE AQA Sciences. There are two types of line of best fit, straight and curved, but today we're going to be talking about straight lines of best fit. So, having, having carefully plotted the results, you then need to draw a line of best fit in order to show the pattern of the results and the relationship between the two variables. So here is a set of data. Now a straight line of best fit should be always drawn with a ruler. Uh, it does not have to go through all of the points in your data. You can see from here there's no way of drawing a single straight line that goes through all of the points in this data set. But you need to get it as close to all of the points as possible and it is there in order to represent the pattern of the, of the results. So for this data set it would be something like this. A line of best fits, as you can see at the end down here, does not have to go through origin, zero, zero. It's much more important that it follows the pattern of the results than that it goes through the origin. You also, I made a slight mistake here, you also should not extend the line of best fit beyond the data set in either direction in most cases because that's extrapolation and you're not, you cannot be sure about the pattern beyond your data set because you haven't tested it. So, that's a straight line of best fit. Now, sometimes you may find not all patterns of data have the same as one variable increases the other variable increases pattern that you can see here. Sometimes you have what will be known as a negative correlation, whereas this variable increases, this variable decreases. But the rules for drawing a line of best fit are just the same. You draw a single straight line that goes through as many points as you can, but as close to all of the points as possible. And again, it does not have to go through the origin. Like that. So you can see here, I've just about managed to get it to go through two of the points of the data set, and it's very close to the other three. Now, occasionally you'll find that a single point does not follow the same pattern as the rest of the results, um, like this one here. This is an, an anomaly. Um, when drawing your line of best fit, ignore this point, and in order to, uh, to show that you know it's an anomaly, circle it in pen. And then when drawing the line, you act as though that point is not there. So if, it, if I was not treating this as an anomaly, my line of best fit would be something like this. But because I'm treating it like an anomaly, I ignore that it's there, and I do the same thing I've done previously. One single straight line, that goes through as many points as possible, like so. The circle indicates to anybody reading your graph that you are treating it as an anomaly and you haven't missed it out by accident. Now, another common mistake I've seen in exam papers is when people are trying to get a line that follows the right pattern but is unfortunately either offset upward or downward from the line of the, uh, the data. So you get something like this. So again, you would you get no marks for, for your line of best fit uh, if it was drawn like this because it's too far down and it doesn't go through any of the points. One of the other mistakes sometimes seen is where a line of best fit goes through at least one of the points, but the angle, the gradient of the line, is either too steep or too shallow. So another mistake that is sometimes seen is something like this. You can see that the line of best fit definitely goes through at least one point, but the gradient of the line is off, so it doesn't represent the pattern of the data. Just two more mistakes to discuss. I'll do the, the second but last mistake on this one. 
and that's where because somebody's not using a ruler and they're not particularly confident about how to draw a straight line without a ruler always use a ruler you end up with something like this being drawn now a line of best fit is not a sketch you're not trying to shade something in it should be drawn in a single straight line using a ruler last but not least some occasionally you get data like this where the points are slightly spread out and it's difficult to imagine what the single straight line would look like the one thing not to do in this case is to join the dots together there is only one instance in GCSE physics when you would join the dots together and that is when doing distance time or velocity time graphs for any other graph you should never do dot to dot so dot, dot to dot will look something something like this the problem with dot to dot is that you are telling the person reading your graph that you are absolutely confident that each one of these data points is perfectly accurate now in any experiment any one of your data points they're never going to be perfectly accurate there will always be some random error associated with each of the measurements that you take so doing a dot to dot like this is really misrepresenting the results that you have so dot to dot is only for distance time graphs and velocity time graphs Well, that's everything I've got to say about straight lines of best fit. I'll do a video soon about curves of best fit or curved lines of best fit, um, which often seem to pr prove difficult.